now we will see how acceleration due to gravity varies with latitude now let this circle represents earth now as the earth rotates about its axis all the particles lying on the surface of earth also rotates suppose let us consider a point mass here at p this is the mass m now let this p makes an angle phi with the equat equatorial plane at the center now when the earth rotates about its axis this mass also is rotating this is rotating in this circle now when it rotates in this circle then it experiences of outward force that is centrifugal force so this centrifugal force is equal to m v square by r v square by r where r is the radius radius this radius this is if this is phi this is radius of earth then this is r e cos phi so m v square by r is m v is r omega so r here radius is r e cos phi omega is angular velocity of earth by radius of the circular path r e cos phi so this centrifugal force equal to m omega e square r e square r e and r e cancel out so one r e cos square phi cos phi cancel out cos phi this is the force towards this now the acceleration due to the force due to the gravity gravity acts in this direction this is the gravitational force mg so therefore the resultant force can be obtained by law of parallelogram of vectors if this angle is phi then this angle is also phi so this is 180 minus phi so therefore we find that the resultant force acting on this mass m equal to this is the using the law of parallelogram of vectors this is the square of gravitational force plus the centrifugal force m omega e square r e cos phi square plus 2 into force gravitational force into this force m omega e square r e cos phi into cos of angle between these two forces that is cos 180 minus phi so this is the square root of this therefore suppose this force produces acceleration g dash so therefore if acceleration due to gravity at p is g dash then this force is equal to m into g dash equal to let us take common mg so we get 1 plus omega e to the power 4 r e square cos square phi by g square plus m square is there one g is there so this is 2 this is omega e square this cos 180 minus phi is minus cos phi so this becomes equal to this becomes equal to minus so this is r e this is cos phi and cos 
वन एटी माइनस फाइव इज कस माइनस कस फाइव एंड उव टेकन दिस एम स्कोर टेकन वन जी इज टेकन सो वन जी उल बी देर सो सो वी हेव टेकन दिस इज स्कोर रूट देर फोर एसलेशन डि टू ग्रेविटी इक्वल टू जी डैश इक्वल टू जी वन प्लस ओमेगा इ टू दि पावर फोर आर ए स्कोर कस स्कोर फाइव बै जि स्कोर माइनस टू ओमेगा इ स्कोर आर इ कस फाइव जि एंड इट इज स्कोर रूट Now, if we consider the point mass here, then this cos phi is cos 90 degree. So, at the pole, at the pole, phi is 90 degree. Therefore, cos phi is cos cos phi is cos 90 is zero. Cos 90 is zero. So, therefore, g dash equal to g. so acceleration due to gravity at the pole is maximum now case 2 suppose the mass is here at the equator then phi equal to at the equator we have phi equal to 0 then cos 0 is 1 so cos 0 is 1 therefore g dash equal to g plus 1 g into 1 plus omega e to the power 4 r e square g square this term is 1 minus 2 omega e square r e by g square root so g is minimum so we find that acceleration due to gravity is maximum at the pole and minimum at the equator so every every point on the surface of earth rotates along in different circle based on their latitude and they are experiencing outward force as a result the the resultant force which is producing acceleration due to gravity is not only the gravitational force but the resultant of centrifugal force experienced by this point mass and the gravitational force hence since phi is different for different points on the surface therefore g also varies along with the latitude